When you think of a mountain bike trail, do you think of this? Well, actually it is a mountain bike trail. It's called the Masterpiece. You can find it on Trail Forks. It was built by Gas, a very talented trail building company, and it got a ton of traffic. They were doing a lot of maintenance on it. This wasn't always paved, but the city brought in another company called Aquacrete, who builds swimming pools to do this sort of stamped concrete over it. And now it runs super fast. It's zero maintenance and it looks awesome. It looks almost like they put flagstone in here. And while paving mountain bike trails sounds like an insane thing to do, it actually makes a lot of sense in this particular situation. Like I said, this thing gets a ton of traffic. It's basically part of Bentonville's infrastructure, just like benches, playgrounds, greenways, tennis courts. And if you're serious about infrastructure, you'll build it to last. And so people joke about Bentonville paving their trails. They made it too smooth. They turned it into a sidewalk. But Bentonville does pave some of their mountain bike trails strategically, not only to make them easier to maintain, but to make them more fun. Check this out. Here we have a totally rock armored berm right here off the greenway. It's made completely of flagstone, had to have been expensive, and had to have been a lot of work. And you can see here in the basin of the berm, it's more of that stamped aquacrete like they have on the masterpiece. And yes, as I said, this is expensive, but you know what else is expensive? Paying somebody to maintain the most heavily used berms in all of Bentonville. This is right off the greenway, right at the top. People use this to get everywhere. So given the fact that almost every tourist that comes through Bentonville is gonna pass through this berm, there's gonna be a lot of people dragging their brakes through it. And so this is a really, really smart thing to do. No braking bumps, no problems. Now here you can see where these mountain bike trails actually intersect the greenway, and they're armored with more of that flagstone and stamped concrete. That's to keep dirt from washing out onto the greenway and creating more maintenance. So when it rains, when tires are kicking up dust, it's another maintenance task that doesn't have to be done, and it makes a nice transition between the trail and the greenway. This is Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve. It's a bike park. There's tons of fun stuff up there, drops and jumps. And to get there, they have a paved climbing trail. This wasn't always paved either, but the place got a lot of traffic. And why should you be putting maintenance into a climbing trail at a bike park? People aren't coming here for a natural experience. They're coming here to get outside and have fun and go fast. And in the long run, this really pays off because you get up to the top a lot easier. People can use it as a walking path. It requires zero maintenance. And I gotta say, when you're trying to cram in as many laps as possible, it's pretty nice. And they called it pedal assist, which is kind of funny because even when you're not on an e-bike, it feels like you're riding one. Now it's true that purists may scoff at this. If you believe the Endurbros, they're gonna tell you that all of Bentonville is just smooth, paved trails, flow trails. But if you like pedal a little bit, there's actually a lot of hand cut single track tech. Also, if you call yourself a purist, what are you doing riding flow trails and jumps? Go out into the woods where you belong. <laughs> So this is a trail called Leopard's Loop, and it's in a little patch of woods sandwiched between a bunch of roads. It's basically a linear skate park, but it wasn't always this way. This used to be made of dirt. It was a flow trail right next to a middle school. And so every day it was getting hammered with kids just doing lap after lap, mornings, afternoons. And so they paved it. You can ride this on a dirt jump bike, a BMX, even a gravel or road bike. It's basically a sidewalk. 
people make fun of places for turning their trails into sidewalks. This is an example where it was actually done and it's freaking awesome. Now you might be thinking that sounds really expensive for a local flow trail, but as a city, think about it. When this was made of dirt, it would have required maintenance. If you were to hire a professional trail building company to maintain a trail like this, I'm estimating you'd be looking at about $15,000, $20,000 per year. Now with an in-house maintenance crew or volunteers that could be significantly reduced, but this is city infrastructure here, and so let's assume it costs $15,000 a year to keep this trail running perfectly. To pave it is $7 per square foot. This has a five to six foot width. It's about 1,000 linear feet. So we're looking at between 40 and $50,000. That's a lot of savings over the long run. In under four years, that would pay for itself. And then you have a sick paved flow trail that runs fast and feels good. What do you suppose a tennis court costs? Or a playground? Or a skate park for that matter? This is actually a prudent financial decision. This is a screaming deal for a municipality that's actually serious about their outdoor recreation infrastructure and wants to keep it there for a long time. Oh, one more thing. This trail glows in the dark. So yeah, if you were to ride this at dusk or come through with some lights and then take another lap, these little pieces of aggregate would be glowing, which is just, it's extra. Yes, you can actually see the trail long after it's gotten dark out, but my GoPro won't pick it up, and so we're using these lights to charge it. And then it looks insane. But the crazy part is this is not the only sick trail that's paved and glows in the dark. And then there's Choo Choo. This is another paved trail with that same glow in the dark aggregate. This has existed for at least the better part of 10 years and it wasn't paved then. They put the pavement on it because this trail was getting so much traffic. There's a neighborhood right up there. I can see people driving to work right now and trail was getting absolutely hammered because it has the sickest berms. You can shred this trail. It's wet out. It rained last night and doesn't seem to affect the traction at all. Most everyone around these parts knows about Choo Choo. Tourists come and ride it. It is definitely a famous trail at this point, and it is yet another trail in Bentonville that has been paved with asphalt. Then there are the A Street jumps. Pardon the noise, we're right next to an active road. It's a sidewalk next to the actual sidewalk, except there are rollers and jumps, rock lips, this is on the way to that same middle school, and I guess they built it so kids could ride it there. This is just completely insane. So this is the area next to the sidewalk. Maybe in your town, this is where people throw garbage, or there's a bunch of weeds over here that periodically need to be mowed. And here, they just turned it into more outdoor recreation infrastructure. So I never thought I'd be standing here telling you guys about the benefits of paving mountain bike trails, but when you're not pretending to have a natural experience, when it's an urban setting where you're trying to have fun or use it for transportation, it actually makes a lot of sense from a riding standpoint and from a financial standpoint, and my mind's kind of blown. I've been in Bentonville this entire month just kind of spending time here almost like a resident would. Thank you Visit Bentonville for making this trip possible. If you want to see the other videos I shot here, there's a playlist below with all of them in order. I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, I hope you at least found it entertaining. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.
Woo-hoo!